Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, I'm Katie and this is Rouse Rising. Winter is here. We are in the Pacific Northwest in the Southern High Desert of Oregon, uh, but we are on the edge of the Cascades. So where we live, we are just literally in the mountains, but right on the edge of the mountains. So some people wouldn't consider it the mountains. I consider it the mountains because compared to the mountains back in Virginia, that weren't even 2,000 feet above sea level. We are at 4,000 feet above sea level. That means we get uh, our fall rain is snow, basically. So it's already started. Winter is here. I didn't get the trampoline moved. I barely got my garden put away the other day. Uh, I'm going to share some of that with you guys here. But I worked on getting my garden kind of put away. I got some more potatoes. I brought some small pots of strawberry plants inside that I'm going to try to do with a grow light. See if we can grow some strawberries indoors over winter. Maybe if I put it on a timer, we can make that work. Yeah, winter is here and doing all the things to get ready for winter. I'm going to make a spiced apple cider or a spiced apple apple juice, mulled apple cider, and then we're going to have this persimmon tartine or tort or there's so many different ways you can call it. It's basically a cookie crumb crust that's wrapped around persimmons with some cranberries dolloped on top. It is so, so, so good. And I will admit, I tasted it. I had to taste it. I had to. I had to. Um, and I've been doing really good on my dairy free, except for that one uh, time that I tasted this tort and I didn't have any ill effects from it. I'm not going to have dairy again, but I definitely wanted to give it a try and I'm so glad I did. It was very tasty. The family really enjoyed it. It's even better the second day because it all firms up and then you can eat it like a piece of cookie. Um, so I cut it into pie pieces while it was still warm. Yeah, it was really good.
right, now we're gonna make a persimmon galette, and this is a delicious tart-like treat that you can make for your family. It's really simple, and it takes just basic ingredients that you probably already have in your pantry. And right now, persimmons are in season, so it's a great time to make this delicious dessert. Surprise your family for the holidays and skip that pumpkin pie and make one of these instead. It has a delicious citrus cookie crust that is very tasty alone, but it's coupled with the persimmons and the cranberries as well as the sugar and cinnamon to make a seasonal treat that everyone is sure to enjoy. The inspiration for this recipe came from the Heirloom Pantry and I will link that recipe down below. I made a few alterations from that recipe uh, just to adjust to what I had available to me. So use what you have and make the best of the recipe. I'm sure it's still gonna turn out delicious. I am multiplying this recipe by three and somehow I made enough for four little galettes, but I'm gonna use the fourth one to make little sugar cookies. A new place, a new home, for a while, let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back, take my time, just enjoy the ride. A new man, Passing by, life is good, best I've ever felt. Get me up, so in it, somewhere I can find myself. Oh, I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel so alive. As I reach out, reach out, reach out, reach out to the sky. I found my way. I found my way. I was in the dark against it all, but made it through the day. Cause I found my way. I found my way. In bad times, I know I'll be okay. Cause I found my way.
enjoy warm with a bit of cream, ice cream, uh, cream cheese. We refrigerated one overnight and had it the next day and it was even better. It firmed up, it was nice and crisp and it was just such a delicious cookie with fruit filling. Okay, I'm out here in my work clothes doing all the things, getting ready for a snowstorm. So that includes cleaning up all around the outside of the house, making sure that everything is put up for the winter because this could be the one storm that puts us in and under for the whole winter. So I have to be sure and make sure everything's put away because otherwise it'll get trapped underneath of ice and snow and that'll be it for the winter. So it's actually raining right now and um, Aaron is injured. He's hurt his back on top of everything else. I'm sure he'll be in physical therapy at some point, but right now we're just trying to get him to where he can function because he can't function. He has hurt his back and he had x-rays done on Friday after a week of suffering and they said that it looks like he has a fractured L5. So that's been awful. And we're just, he didn't want to do a CT or MRI, or a MRI. I'm not sure which they offered him, but he has recently had both of those in the last year. Uh, he did not want to go through that again. Um, so it's very windy out here. So we're not sure exactly the damage, but it looks like there's a slipped disc possibly. Um, it's not looking good and we're just grinding every day. Um, that's why I'm working so hard to grow my channel. We have 25,000 subscribers almost, or we're there, or we're almost there. So thank you all so much for always watching and always being here with me. Um, it means a lot to me, every single one of you. And when you comment down below, it makes my day. I love hearing from you all. I love hearing how your days are going. And I appreciate all of your prayers for my family. We are just taking care of him and getting this house in this outdoor space buttoned up for the winter. So I'm gonna move this golf cart back into the house, into the garage, and I'm gonna move the vehicles around so that everything's parked where it needs to be for a snowstorm. Flip it and reverse it. See if I can do this here. Forwards. I'm doing it all by myself. It's like I didn't operate heavy equipment or something. It's another thing. Oh, am I gonna make it? Do I have clearance? Yes, I have clearance. I have clearance. Clearance. I parked this thing. I don't want to turn it off. And we're done. Um, so now I can button up the garage, get the cars moved back around. But yeah, the um, heavy equipment reference. Did you guys know that for five years of my life, I um, worked for an excavating business, a landscaping business, and an environmental remediation business. And with all three of those businesses, I got to, um, at times, well, I did a lot of grunt work. Um, a lot of grunt work, a lot of shoveling, a lot of ditch digging, a lot of gravel pushing, um, but things like that. And then I also operated heavy equipment. I learned how to operate dozers. I learned how to operate back hose, track hose, skid loaders which are also like rubber tire loaders or skid steers, some people call them. So all those types of things. I learned how to operate dump trucks. I can drive a dump truck. And so that was a lot of fun and I gained a lot of experience in that five years time. And I'm always blessed and appreciative of that time in my life. I also raced motocross during that time and worked um, in a in extreme sports like snowboard, skateboard, uh, ski shop at a snow resort. So in the winter times I worked at the snow resort and then in the summer times we, all of us did the excavating, landscaping, that kind of thing. So it was crazy, it was a good time and um, yeah, definitely an adventure. That was my life pre-marriage. I got married and moved to England and cleaned houses in England and did all kinds of other stuff there, sold elderberry syrup, you name it, I was hustling. I learned um, all of my doula training and all of my doula stuff in the UK so then I moved to the US here I am in Oregon and yeah just living life I've been trying my best for a while trying to please everyone who's around me I've been putting 
on my fake smile Even though I'm wasting time I don't wanna be trapped in a box Trying to be like the rest when I'm not I just wanna go my own way Gonna let the past burn down Cause honestly don't wanna be Stuck in boring conversations with you With you I'm gonna leave it all behind Find myself, I'm gonna start with a new Yeah I'm on my way now replace my instant pot seal uh this let's see i probably replaced it mm, a year or two ago i don't know i use my instant pot almost every single day this thing is amazing i use it like i said every day every day if it's i have two inserts because when i'm making broth if i need to make rice i will take this out and i will put the other insert in and then i can make my rice and then i take my rice out and then I put this back in and so it's nice to have two inserts but my seal is not sealing so uh, we're getting some condensation from the steam and everything it's all dripping out it's all it shouldn't be you shouldn't really have water there unless you're boiling over for whatever reason so I've had this on low and it's down all night and typically I don't have water there but the last couple times that I've made broth, I've been having a lot more water, so I'm like, eh, it's time to replace the seal. Nothing's better when the family's under the weather than a little bit of chicken noodle soup. So this is just your basic recipe. I'm gonna be using some mixed herbs that I saved from my garden, but we're also gonna be using some homemade chicken stock that I just made with you all. And of course, we're adding some onions to saute. I'm just adding all of my vegetable scraps to my bone broth 
in my perpetual bone broth I've been talking to you guys about. I'm finally switching out that seal I mentioned I needed to switch out. Ta-da! And uh, yeah, all the scraps are gonna go into the perpetual bone broth. That is the chicken carcass in the Instant Pot. And I'm adding all of my scraps to that. So we're gonna saute everything up. We're gonna use the freeze-dried celery, the freeze-dried ginger, and the garden herbs along with a bay leaf in this soup. Season to taste with your salt and pepper and enjoy watching me make this nourishing meal for my family. Down so Hagen can throw it in the net. Try to throw it in there now. Let me just sling it around. <laughs> you gonna catch it with the net? So you can't play with him because he just makes you smile. <laughs>
So I hope you guys enjoyed this little bit about me. I hope you enjoyed watching us make this uh, persimmon tart today. I had a lot of fun learning. I couldn't eat it because it has dairy in it, but I did sneak a bite and it was really tasty. So hopefully that one little bite doesn't affect me too much. Um, but yeah, I thank you guys so much for being with me today. Until next time. Bye.